If we take the example where the nursing students spoke up and prevented the transfusion error, one of the critical factors was effective leadership. Because what did the physician, you know, what did the physician do here? I mean, what are those behaviors? Effective leaders always walk in, they share the plan, they continuously invite people into the conversation bi-directionally, sharing information, soliciting input, expertise, concerns from the other team members, use their names, because what are they doing? One is they want everybody to kind of be clear what the plan is, but the second piece of this is a social process of team formation, that that inherent hierarchy or power distance, they're actively working to lower or flatten it. So what do effective leaders do? They set a positive active tone every time, they share information, they create familiarity, they continuously invite people in the conversation, and they make themselves approachable, because effective leaders are always approachable. These are intentional behaviors that we should use every time we walk into a room, into an office, into a procedural unit, in a hospital, to set that positive active tone, because not only is it safer, but it's far more fun, far more rewarding, to work on a team that engages in those behaviors consistently. So in our examples, I mean, we're using people that are physicians or, or senior leaders in the organization, but the reality is we're all leaders. You think about anybody who walks in and deals with a patient, they're in a leadership position. And, and again, we can always set a positive active tone, we can engage the team, we can basically continue to orient toward the common goal of optimal safe care. Because what you'll find very frequently is as a student or somebody in training, very frequently the patients are going to feel safer asking you questions than they are somebody like me in a white coat. So we're all in a leadership position. And these are, these are behaviors we need to adopt through the course of our career, whether we're learning or whether we're actually out there practicing.